Hello again. The last couple of lessons we've been looking at decision rules and in this lesson, lesson 3.3 and the next one, I want to look at a different kind of rule, association rules. Association rules are about finding associations between attributes. Between any attributes, there's no particular class attribute. Rules can predict any attribute or indeed any combination of attributes. And for this, we need a different kind of algorithm. The one that we use in Weka, the most uh, popular association rule algorithm is called a priori. Uh, so I don't know if you remember the weather data from data mining with Weka. Here's this little data set with 14 instances and a few attributes. Well, here are some association rules. If the outlook is overcast, then play is yes. And if you look at that, there are one, two, three, four overcast instances, and it's yes for all of them. That rule is 100% correct. If the temperature is cool, then humidity is normal. That's also 100% correct. If the outlook is sunny and play is no, then humidity is high. We don't have to predict play or indeed any particular attribute. And if you look at that rule number four, the outlook is sunny and play is no, the first two instances satisfy that rule. Uh, and there are no other instances uh, that satisfy that rule. So it's 100% correct, but it only covers two instances. There are lots of 100% correct rules for the weather data. I think there are 336 rules that are 100% correct. And uh, somehow we need to discriminate against these, between these rules. And the way we're going to do this is to look at the support, the number of instances that satisfy a rule. So the confidence is the proportion of instances for which the conclusion holds. And the support is the number of instances that satisfy a rule. Uh, so here uh, I've got the same rules and uh, they all have 100% confidence, but they've got different degrees of support, different number of instances. And, uh, well, we, we're looking for high support, high confidence uh, rules, but we don't really want to specify 100% confidence and look for all of those rules because, like I said, there's hundreds of them and a lot of them have got very low support. So typically what we do is specify a minimum degree of confidence and seek the rules with the greatest support with that minimum confidence. Now I want to introduce you to the idea of an item set. An item set is a set of attribute value pairs, like humidity is normal and windy is false and play is yes. And an item set has got a certain support given a data set. So here there are four instances in the data set that are in that item set. And we can take that item set and kind of permute it in different ways, several different ways, to produce rules. Uh, all of which you've got a support of four. So if humidity is normal and windy is false, then play is yes, it's got a support of four, and a confidence of four over four, that's 100%. Uh, because uh, all of the instances for which humidity is normal and windy is false uh, are true, have got play is yes. And as we go down this list of rules, we get a lower degree of confidence. The last rule, for example, which is kind of, doesn't have anything on the left-hand side, so uh, anything implies humidity is normal and windy is false and play is yes. That's got a support of four, but there are 14 instances that satisfy the left-hand side. All of the instances satisfy the left-hand side, so the confidence is four over 14. So you can see that if we go down this list of rules, the confidence is decreasing from 100% uh, down to four over six. What's that? 67% down to quite a low value, four four fourteenths. And what we want to do is to, or what a priori does, is to generate high support item sets. And then given an item set, it gets the rules from it, all of the rules from it, and uh, just takes those with more than a minimum specified degree of confidence. So the strategy is to iteratively reduce the minimum support until the required number of rules is found with a given minimum confidence. Uh, so that's it for this lesson. Uh, there are far more association rules than classification rules. We need different techniques. The support and confidence are two important measures. A priori is the standard algorithm, and I just want to show you that algorithm over here in Weka. I've opened a data set that you're going to be using the, in the activity. It's the vote data set. And in order to find to use a priori, I go to the associate panel. 
and there are a few association rule algorithms, of which by far the most popular is a priori, that's the default one. And then I just run that to get association rules. So that's what you'll be doing in the activity. We want to specify the minimum confidence value and seek rules with the most support, and the details of that are in the next lesson. There's some stuff about association rules in the textbook, so uh, good luck with the activity, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now.